Welcome to JobSkillShare.org, our unique course IT support resume applying for jobs and communities. In our last video, we talked about how to uh, how to search. Basically, you just needed this to learn the skill of searching, and then how to apply to or what titles are you going to apply to. Now, the next video is about preparing for that first call. Now, why this is important? Because in a real world scenario, when you go and start applying to, let's say, 20 positions, you need to make sure that you remember where you applied. A lot of people don't even take this into consideration and they start shooting their resume. And then later on, they get stressed because some people will call you back and then you don't have answer for that uh, place. And this is very important because if you don't know uh who you, who are you who you are talking to and you pick up that call that's it you know your imp the first uh, impression is going to be luck based then you know if you're confident enough you can answer these questions nicely then you're good but you're actually not prepared that probably naturally came out of you so you need to prepare yourself everything needs to be planned over here that's where you're going to find success easily so now what i'm about to show you is this feature that when you go to the community and we are using for this feature we're tackling projects so we so we built this project sorry this feature for our members and this is one of the things that we talk about customize uh, coding just to help you in a specific situation so you can use this feature for anything you want to plus and premium members but you can also use it for this specific uh, you know uh, issue that we're going to discuss but let's say you're a free free member do you really have to use this no you can use any other tool that you have and you can save data in it you can actually use a word document you can use notepad notepad document it's just that somebody paid us and we are now working uh, you know uh, providing providing them a little bit easier way in the same platform because they paid for this stuff so you don't have to use it if you if you don't want to but i will i'll be showing this from my uh you know premium access so let's create a scenario where you are going to apply to multiple positions on indeed.com and you want to keep a track of it so you're going to go and let's say find this helpless position and that's great you found it and the title is help desk specialist right so the first thing you need to do is to go back to your premium uh you know uh uh, access or plus access and create a project with the name so you can just name it help us jobs whatever you want to name it just generic name and then create that project name here you can click on click on it all the way and then you can change the label in progress so that will tell you that you are actually in progress of applying to the help desk positions right now you may have different positions also different titles that you may be applying to you may want to change that but we're considering help desk anything like you know any entry level positions so here you can write a description, whatever you want to write, you can write it over here. Uh, and the most important part of this, uh, you know, project, uh, tool that you want to use is this new task area so here you are going to come in and say, okay the, the the title of this job is help this this and the company name over here so you're going to type the company name lcb whatever and when did you apply you know 17 let's put that date in there even though this is built for you to uh, manage your own task but you can actually use it to for this purpose also so you you got that you got the name you got the the date and now you just click here and you basically have that right there so let's say you have another one um, you know uh, another job you apply to and this is called help desk intern you know and let's say uh, you basically uh, this is another company ABCD right and then you applied it on to 18 so this way you are going to save that but Again, if you're using Word or any other document, so you're going to be doing the same thing. Um, so here, what you need to do is then you will open it uh, like help desk specialist right here, right? So then what you want to do is just copy everything from here and then copy paste it over there. Why, why this is important to do this, I'll show you in a second. So when you do this, you see it will come just like that, right? Now, why it is important? When people start calling back, usually they turn down their, uh, you know, they, they, they turn off this uh, online providing on Indeed.com or somewhere else, right? They're in a process of calling you back now. They're in a process of hiring someone. So this is where you're going to get confused because you apply to this position by quickly looking at things. They removed it and now you don't know what salary was there, was there before. 
what were they you know uh you know providing so maybe you apply to this position they, this has a salary so sometimes what people do they're smart you know the businesses they will remove salary at the end even if they have something like this they and, and they send you something like second description they don't even put salary in there so this can also confuse you what was the initial salary so you see if they if they put 50 to 70k you already know that their minimum is 50 so you don't want to even go too low or you don't want to go too high from this so then either you will go too low and that's still for them is going to be like mm, this person is just you know trying to get in right now or if you go too high then they will be getting scared of you because people are going to be like okay that's too much so you see why it is important you for you in the beginning when you start applying to jobs you're preparing yourself already then the second piece of this is that okay you got this right here everything is done then what you want to do you can go back in here and let's say you go back in there and this is the you know to go back you just click go back here and let's say let's say you uh um i think this is not the right one help this jobs right here yeah okay so now so when you go back in here let's say they called you you are done with this company all you got to do is to check mark right here so now you're done with this company you already you already taken this so what you want to do with this now why is this important you're going to come here and then in the comment section right here you're going to write notes for yourself what did i do that is wrong what did I do that was good? Or you can even invite us, an administrator, and ask them that I just didn't do well. Or I, I finished this. Can you tell me? They, 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 you can put all the questions over here about the, inter uh, the, the phone interview. So maybe you're expecting a second interview. That's where administrator can jump in and look into this company then. We can go into this company, look at their sites, what kind of systems they are using. Are they using Office 365? Are they using this and that and this and that? So that's where you're doing a targeted preparedness. This is what I call going for success, guys. Or uh, women or females. I mean, I, I get a backlash from people when I say guys, you know. <laughs> so please forgive me for that. I'm just used to that. So the thing is this, that you need to prepare yourself like this. If this is the way you prepare yourself, then it's really hard for you not to get a job. It's very hard. And this is what we do for you in the live trainings. We don't leave you. We really work with you. We capture everything around you. You know, we don't even, we don't just do content type of thing just video 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 and you're done we don't do that neither do we do certification abcd kind of thing you do abcd and you're passing and you're done that's not that doesn't work you want to become a pro proper it professional so this will even help you in the future because now what you're learning here is actually a skill you're learning a project management skill where you are preparing your own project you are maintaining your own project you're doing something with this application so now you're actually in the project and learning something that what corporate people do in their work environment try to understand this this is something very high level but you will get it i know once you land a job because you're going to get these tasks all over your career and when you get used to stuff like this then the next job becomes a piece of cake for you you want to move up then that's how you move up because you're so trained to do things you're doing things systematically planned. Everything is, is, is without a confusion kind of thing. You have too much confidence to go around and do things. And that's fine if people reject you in these jobs because everything they do over here, you're just learning. Keep check marking it. Learn, 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 learn. And re getting, getting rejected is not a problem. It is going to lead you to one of the best jobs out there. That is the key of this video. So when you do this, when you have something like this, doesn't matter if it's this application, if it's some other application, use it and prepare yourself like this. Then when you get that call, let it go to the voicemail. Let them introduce themselves. So then you have ability to search over here or you have ability to, to tell us that I got a call and now I'm going to go and do the interview. Can you help me? If it's a first call, you can still send a message to us. We can still help you with that as long as you have something with you. We're not going to just say, you know, we're going to look it for you. We're not going to do that. You have to actually show us that you have done this process. Then we will jump in and do that for you. Uh, so I hope people get lesson from this. This is a, it seems like it's never taught in the IT, but if you have seen this for the first time, let me know what you think. And if you have any other questions or if you have any other suggestions, please let us know. Thanks so much.